In this video, we're going to be covering how you can test Salesforce instances with Virtuoso's codeless test automation using natural language programming to write test steps, to create functional UI journey combining also with APIs, to be able to do things like log into Salesforce, create an account, then create uh, an opportunity before, let's say, going in and doing things like changing the status of an opportunity being able to use natural language commands to write that if we're interacting with the interface, but then also showing how you can do the same thing, incorporating also API calls. So for example, here, when we're logging into Salesforce, we're then gonna make a token call, store the token, and then call the uh, Salesforce APIs to create accounts, create an opportunity via the APIs, and then jump in the UI in this case, just to do what the tests ask, which is to change the status of an opportunity. Okay, so let's get started with creating tests on Salesforce using Virtuoso. Now, the first thing we're gonna to need to do when we come into your uh, Virtuoso organization is to create a project. So let's call this Salesforce test with Virtuoso. Now, when I create my project, I've basically got a, a blank canvas. Now, instead of requiring you to go in and start figuring out how to get started, what we've done is put together a template that you can bring into Virtuoso. Now, what that template includes are things like the environments that you can configure with things like your URL, username, and password. It's got some pre-made goals and journeys. So journeys are test cases for things like logging in, but also some examples of how to create accounts and opportunities in Salesforce. It's also got some API calls, a token call, um, uh, create an account and create an opportunity. And then we've got some test data as well. So to get that test project, you can come across to our Discord server and the link is at the bottom there. And if you come into the Virtuoso Salesforce forum, you can see that there is a Salesforce project import uh, pinned to the top. If I click in there, there's a file here, a JSON file that I can download. And by doing that, basically, uh, that gives me all everything I'll need. And it includes, as stated, an environment, test data, some extensions, uh, and also the uh, journeys that we've created plus some API calls. So if I come back to Virtuoso now, I can click on Import Goal, and then I can drag in that file that I've just downloaded, the JSON file, and I can import that. And by doing that, what that creates for me, uh, for it's a goal, which I, of course, called my first Virtuoso Salesforce goal with three journeys, three tests in it, which include the steps for going to the URL, logging in, and in this case, launching the dashboard. But also then we've got a couple of journeys here to be able to add an account and add an opportunity in the UI and then do the same via the APIs. What it's also got is some the API calls. So get a token, create account and create opportunity ready configured. It's got some test data, so just some sample test data for account and opportunity. Uh, it's got some extensions, so some natural language extensions that can be used in the test. We'll talk about more of those later. But actually the first place we're gonna start, it's also got a pre-made environment. And so simply, this is kind of the key place to start because if you go ahead and it's already got the login.salesforce, you can change that to your base URL if you like. But then if I come in here, and just by simply putting in my username, and this is the username I will use to log into Salesforce when I'm testing. So I'll just spell that correctly there. And then I'm gonna put in my password, which I'm not gonna show you. I'm gonna enter it and then click save so you can't see it. Okay. Uh, now we can fill in these other details, but actually that's gonna be for the API. So just hold on to those for the second. The only other thing to look at will be the module here. This is the module that you want to test, uh, the main module. For me, it's gonna be the sales console. It could be services for you, or you might have a custom module. So I'm gonna leave it a sales console, but you could override that if you like, and you'll see what that does in just a second. So just with those few details in, if we come back to the project dashboard, go into the My First uh, Salesforce goal, and go into the logging in and first navigation steps, you'll see that what we've done here, we've actually, if I come into the goal settings, we've got that pointing to the environment, but also we've set it up so that if I come into manage test data, it's pulling the test data table that we set up for you. Now you'll also notice that all the steps here, 
they're written in natural language and you're going to see in uh, subsequent videos how to do this but also you can see how we've decoupled this from data so we're pulling the url username and password from the environment and then we've got things like the module so when we get into salesforce we're going to click the app launcher click on the module we want to load and then open up the old check that that's loaded now if i go ahead and run this then it's going to load up a bright live browser window, go to the login page, write in the username and password that we've just entered into the uh, environment. Uh, now note it has got some steps here for OTP. Now, if you don't use OTP, you could just delete those out. If you do use OTP, your test may fail at this point. And what you need to do, there's gonna be a link in the top uh, corner here coming up. There we go. That's another YouTube video on how to set up OTP using the Authenticator app for Salesforce. Otherwise, as you can see now, it's gone on, it's clicked on the app launcher, it's launched the module, which for me is the sales console, and then it's gone and opened the accounts module for me. So that's using our, our pre-built steps. Now, what we've also got in here, if I just come back across, is I've got the same thing if I come into the create account and opportunity, then you can try running this through if you're using the sales module. And what this will do is the same thing. It's going to go through and use the environment credentials to log in. And in this case, it's going to try and create an account and opportunity using test data that's come from the test data table. Now, note that this is the out of the box Salesforce. This is just a developer instance. So if you have customized this tool, if you are creating an account and opportunity, then you may need to insert or change some steps here. Now, the purpose of this video, however, is just to get you started so that you can get logged in, including if you did that OTP step, so that you can basically get into your Salesforce instance. The next thing we're going to look at in the next video is actually, and having logged in, how you can then uh, create what we call library checkpoints, but also how you can write steps in natural language to do things like create accounts, for example. So that's going to be our very next video we're covering off.